everyone, it's Miss Stacy at the Lion Township Public Library. Thank you so much for joining me today for story time. Today's book, we have Little Owl's Love. And this is by Divya Sarinavasan. And we get to follow Little Owl all around the forest and see what Little Owl loves about the forest. But before we get started with our book, we're gonna start by singing Bread and Butter Marmalade and Jam. So if you know it, please sing along with me. It's the one where we pat our laps and clap and we get to talk about some opposites. Um, we get to say hello in a bunch of fun different ways. First way we say hello is really high, like, hello. Can you try that? Hello. All right, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Good job. Now, what is the opposite of high? Low. So we're going to say hello. Perfect. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Great. The next way we get to say hello is really fast. Okay, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. So quick, I almost missed it. So what is the opposite of fast? Slow. So we're gonna say, hello. Really slow, right? Okay, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Great job. The next way is my favorite way. And it's our chance to be loud to say hello. I think we all know how to how to be loud and say hello. So here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! All right. The very last way we say hello, it's the opposite of loud. Do you know what the opposite of loud is? Quiet. Yes, quiet. Perfect. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quietly as we can. <sighs> Perfect job, friends. Now that we've said all our hellos, let's start reading our book. Little Owl's Love. This is written and illustrated by Divya Sarinavasan. Ooh, I see something beautiful here. Not sure if they're butterflies or moths, but I see lots of shapes on them. Lots of circles, lots of dots. And a special thank you to Viking for allowing us to share this book with everyone today. And more back here. One, two, two little butterflies. And a super cute owl. This sort of looks like a shape that I know too. Kind of reminds me of a heart. Fighting along in the quiet night, little owl heard a snuffling below. Hedgehog had discovered a new mushroom patch. Don't you love finding mushrooms? Hedgehog squeaked. It always feels like such a surprise. Oh, Hedgehog loves finding these little mushrooms. <laughs> little Owl loved surprises, but he'd never paid attention much to the mushrooms. His friend so delighted made Little Owl feel cheerful too. What do I love? 
thought little owl. There were so many things. Little owl has so many things to love. Let's see. Stars that shimmered. Fireflies winked. Frogs called out to one another through the reeds. Yes, I can see, oh, they're talking to each other. This little frog saying, ribbit, ribbit, over to this one. And, oh, I see another little creature back there. You know what that might be? A little hard to tell. Looks like a turtle. So many creatures, oh, there's one down here too. He almost missed her. And fish, so many creatures by this little creek. Grumbly Cave rumbled softly with echoing snores. Sweet dreams, whispered Little Owl. He hoped Bear had heard. Oh, a bear sleeping in a cave. I bet there's some big snores too. It felt special to know the forest so well, but there were mysteries too. That mountain of sticks, was Beaver's Lodge. But what went on inside? Little Owl loved to wonder about that. Mm, can you see what's going on inside? It looks like they're snacking on some sticks, right? Using those teeth. Little Owl doesn't know. Little Owl can't get in there. So Little Owl's wondering, hmm, what's going on in there? Something curious caught Little Owl's eye. It was hidden among the leaves. Do you see anything hidden in the leaves? Yes! What could this be? A different color than the leaves. The leaves are green and this looks sort of pink. What could it be? Hmm. Butterflies! The closer Little Owl looked, the more he found to love. How many butterflies do you see? Let's count together. One, two, three. Three butterflies. Little Owl knew Raccoon felt that way too. Oh, raccoon finds lots of love. Do you see raccoon's tail here? And his body? Oh, he's in the log. Wonder what he's looking at in there. Any idea? Hmm, let's find out. Oh, little owls in here too. What are they looking at? You know what this is? And then that, a spider web, and a spider. Wow, this web is really pretty. What do you love? Little Owl asked. Raccoon thought about it. I love chasing moths with you. Aw, that seems like fun. and listening to cricket song, Little Owl added. And watching the sky, said Raccoon. We love a lot, don't we? Little Owl thought how he loved the word we. Aw, Little Owl likes having a friend and I think Raccoon likes having Little Owl as a friend too. And I see something hiding under here. A snake. And I see little bugs. Those might be the crickets chirping. Yes, it looks like that one's chirping. Oh, and some other little friends over here too. Maybe a lizard or something? Hmm. Little Owl wasn't tired at all. He felt he could fly forever. Sometime, maybe he would see just how far. He rushed home to tell his mama. Looks like it's getting a little bit brighter in the sky. 
Maybe the sun's coming up soon. Oh, yeah. As little owl soared through twilight, he marveled at his forest, so different in this light. There was the creek where he first met Bear. Right, Bear lived by the creek in a cave. Mist was drifting from the waterfall. Everything little owl loved was right here. At his tree, little owl noticed a flurry of mushrooms. Seeing them brought Hedgehog to mind, which made little owl happy. Right, Hedgehog loved finding mushrooms. Mama, little owl said, I love finding mushrooms, don't you? Aw, that's so cute. The end. I just love that little owl found so many things that he loved about his home in the forest. Maybe you can find some things that you love about your home too. All right, let's get my apron and we're gonna count some owls. So hopefully you can count along with me. Let's see, let's count as we go. I'm gonna be like the tree branch, okay? And then these are my owls. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. There are five owls. I right, know there's a reflection on some of them. Okay. So five hoot owls sitting in a tree. One flew away. How many do you see? Well, how many are left? Let's count. One, two, three, four, yes. Four hoot owls sitting in a tree. One flew away. How many do you see? One, two, three. Yes, three hoot owls sitting in a tree. One flew away. How many do you see? Hmm. One, two, yes, two. Two little hoot owls sitting in a tree. One flew away. How many do you see? One, that's right, just one left. One little hoot owl sitting in a tree. You flew away. Now how many do you see? Zero, right? None. Zero owls left. Good job counting. Let's count together as we put them back. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, and I see them in lots of different colors. Ink and purple and sort of a yellow, orange and blue. So many pretty owls. Great job, friend. Alrighty, we're gonna end with open shut them. So if you can, give a big stretch for your hands, pull them in nice and tight. This is shut, right? And this is open, all right. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. I hope you didn't let any of them in. All right, thanks so much for reading with me today and singing, and I hope that you have a great day, and I hope to see you around the library sometime. Bye-bye.